Morning, well, this was the next podcast of Andy Collier Talks Cricket Memorabilia. Um, hopefully today we're going to get a full day's play at the Oval, but it doesn't sound great for this afternoon, so um, hopefully England can press home their advantage and make it to all in the series. Uh, it's been a great series, I have to say. It's been, uh, you can't turn the radio off or the TV off, I wouldn't have thought, so um, it's been fantastic. So hopefully England can finally draw the series this afternoon. Um, well done to Stuart Board after a great career for England, over 600 wickets. It's going to be a difficult act to replace. So uh, well done to him and good luck on his uh, next venture. So anyway, just going back to last week's postcard, which is this lovely one, 1901 now, actually we found out. It's uh, Clive O'Connell sent me a photograph of that lovely facade there, which was Southampton, which I was trying to narrow down. So it wasn't 1904, it ended up as 1901 and the first match on their tour playing at Southampton. So a nice wrench card there with a little bit of history on the back there. Um, so nice card there from wrench. Uh, and that was uh, number 4156 on there. So a lovely, lovely find there, 1901. So anyway, it's been a fantastic week for bits turning up eventually. Um, but the first thing that turned up was this lovely scorecard. Um, and it's uh, Scarborough Cricket Festival, and it's the Lord Longsbury's 11th in September, 8th, 9th and 10th, 1910. So you've got uh, Lord Longsbury's 11 against Luce and Gore's South Africa 11, who went on to tour South Africa in uh, 1910. So um, lovely scorecard there. But that also came along with the three tickets for the three days. Ticket each day, it actually come, well they were joint, they're not joined together now, but they they meant to be joined together and torn off on each entry. So there's lovely three tickets there from 1910. For the Gore and the Lonsborough match there at the Scarborough Festival. So I'm really pleased with that. I've got to say, nice little uh, item there. And eventually, after three visits to different post offices, um, it seemed to have got lost, but I'm extremely pleased it didn't. Now this is a lovely card here. Uh, signature of uh, Billy Murdoch, William Lloyd Murdoch, um, Australia, England, Sussex, London County, New South Wales, fantastic player for Australia as well. And early on, he toured over here, 1878 in the first tour, 1880, 82, 84 and 90. He got a double hundred against Sussex. I think he was the first person to get a double hundred there and the first person to get three, uh, 300, triple century, 321. For New South Wales against Victoria. Um, so he's a fantastic player, I have to say. And it's a great signature to get. Big uh, mate of um, WG Grace. So if you've uh, forgotten what Billy Murdoch looks like, there he is there. This is the famous uh, cricket grounds and cricketers. Billy Murdoch there with next to his big mate WG Grace. Um, so I'm really pleased to have that signature there of Billy Murdoch. So it's a Nice coup that was away from Australia. Um, and then the next one that turned up was this lovely, um, coming with the same pa package actually. This is a team sheet written out by, presumably, it was um, purported to be R.E.S. Wyatt. This is from the Brighton Hotel, uh, Brisbane Hotel, sorry, uh, Launceston, Tasmania, which is the first match of their two match sort of holiday matches in Tasmania, 1932-33. So it's a lovely thing, but the, um, when it came through and I put it on the internet, um, Jonathan Farmer pointed out that it's actually written out by Douglas Jardine. I've only got a typewritten letter of Douglas Jardine, so um, I couldn't really compare it. But um, distinctive um, joining of the last initial and the surname on there. So it's uh, sort of um, really sort of gone up in value. Really. I think now it's been known as uh, written out by Douglas Jardine. It was sold at auction written out by R.E.S. Wyatt, so it's a bit of a coup to find out that it was um, Douglas Sheldine. Written out just before he went on his uh, fishing trip in Tasmania, and he came back to uh, captain the next match at Hobart. Um, this match here was a massive win for the MCC by an innings and 126 runs. So um, that's gone into the inner sanctum, so uh, it's got to be pretty special to get in there. So uh, I'm really pleased to have that. I think I found a reasonable frame for it to go in as well, so... Uh, Really pleased for that. That's great. Thank you very much, Australia. So anyway, that's that for this week. Um, hope you enjoyed the presentation and come on England. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.